Hi, welcome to AlgebraClass.com. In this lesson, we're going to continue comparing fractions with different denominators. We're going to take a look at example number two on the website, which says, which is greater, four-sevenths or two-thirds? We're going to remember that in order to compare fractions, the denominators must be the same. When I look at these two fractions, I notice that my denominators are not the same. And therefore, I have to take some steps before I can compare the two fractions. So I don't know which one is greater until I make them both equal to fractions that have the same denominator. Now, we're going to take a look at the first fraction because the denominator is larger. It's 7. And I'm going to ask myself, will 3 go into 7 evenly? The answer is no. So that means that I cannot use 7 as the denominator. That means that I'm going to have to rewrite both fractions in order to compare them. So what I need to do is I need to figure out the least common multiple for both of the denominators. So I'm going to start with 3 and I'm going to list all the multiples of 3. So 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 4 is 12, 3 times 5 is 15, 3 times 6 is 18, 3 times 7 is 21, and 3 times 8 is 24. And I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to write all the multiples for 7 as well. So I have 7, 7 times 2 is 14, 7 times 3 is 21. Now I'm going to stop there, and the reason I'm stopping is because that's a repeat. I have 21 listed for 3, and I have 21 listed for 7. And that's called the least common multiple, or LCM, which is also going to become your least common denominator. So now what we need to do is we need to rewrite four sevenths as a fraction that has 21 as the denominator and we also need to rewrite two thirds as a fraction that has 21 as the denominator. Then both fractions will have the same denominator. So then what we need to do is we need to say seven times what is 21? Well seven times three is 21. And if I multiply by 3 in the denominator, I multiply by 3 in the numerator so that I can write an equivalent fraction. 4 times 3 is 12. So 4 sevenths and 12 twenty-first are exactly the same amount. They're the same fraction, just written differently. So 4 sevenths is the same as 12 over 21. Let's do the same for 2 thirds. 3 times what is 21? 3 times 7 is 21. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 7 to get 14. So 2 thirds and 14 21st are exactly the same. They're equivalent fractions. So 14 21st is the same as two-thirds. Now that both of my fractions have the same denominator, I can compare them. I can just simply look at the numerator and tell which one is greater. Since 14 is greater than 12, I know that 14 21st is greater, which means that two-thirds is greater. So two-thirds is greater than four-sevenths. And that's how you would use equivalent fractions to compare fractions and determine which is greater or which is least. Okay, so that concludes example number two.